Okay. A lot is coming to me and I'm trying to ask for guidance to keep this concise and also I'm managing a child over here who I don't know what he's going to say in the background. Um, God, both God and the devil, if you want to speak it that way, like see it that way, it like work in tandem, like the world that this, the consumerism and all of the pleasures and the temptations and the, I guess you shouldn't say pleasures, all the vices, um, of the outside world, um, I'm going to try, I can already, I feel, felt already that this message was getting, trying to not to come through. Um, you should sit, stay seated. If you're going to eat, stay seated. Teddy, stay seated or it gets taken away. Um, it's very seductive, but God is, works the same, but we are wired in a way that, that, we're drawn to things and we have, I don't know if everyone has a void within or how that, or if it's just some, something that happens with like the separation and the duality. I don't know, but it's like, we're like drawn to these different things. And for maybe even multiple reasons, your higher self is putting, drawing you to things or putting you in situations. Steady, sit down, sit down or it's taken away. Um, but God works the same way because he wants you to seek him. And then it's this, that's where like this devotion and this faith and this, all of the practices that you do is like, you continue to seek that. Um, let's see if I can step outside. Um, Okay, so this is the other thing that came to me is that it's like when you do, when you, if you haven't, if you haven't awoken to your shadow, if you haven't awoken to your own darkness and you're still in delusion, I'm losing it now. Um, it's like, it's a choice once you have to face your, your own downfall or your own destructive ways. Okay. That, I was trying to think of a way how, what, how to word it or, um, it's a choice to run from it or, and stay stuck or to seek God and ask for healing and, ask him to help guide you and all of this. And so that's when you start to walk the path of faith. Um, if you have, cause I, I can't say, I can't say what it's like for anyone who's it's so hard without examples. It's like, I feel like there's times when you probably were at a really low point and there were people in your ear that, that were like, just do this or, you know, like try to save you. And so that, I think that, that to me is kind of what it comes down to is it's like, when we try to save each other, we stay stuck in karma and we stay stuck in the ego. But if you seek God, if, if it's, if you're seeking your, your higher self, you were seeking the most high, in those mo in that moment and you're choosing yourself and you're choosing healing then and you're choosing to face your shadow and face the fears and face all of these things and continue to to move through it then you're choosing I don't like the words the righteous, but like you're choosing that, that path to walk with God and to allow him to work through you and to 
choose his will essentially. And that's what's so crazy about all of it because it's like there, there's things even now that like, I feel like, am I doing, I, I question things all the time because my, I'm, I'm just even still very much, you know, the overthinking is something I have. The mind is always, and you're always having to let it go. But then I look back on situations and I'm like, I was put in that situation for, for a reason. And like, sometimes that will happen. It's like, you look back and you're like, I was just following my intuition. I didn't know what was going on or why, but I just did what I, what I tried to fall, you know, be obedient essentially. Um, and then again, it's like, we're still going to make mistakes and make wrong moves and say and do the wrong thing sometimes. Like it's not, I, that came to me today is that it's like, God, we, it's like we chose to come here and God knows that it's ridiculous and that we forget all these things and we can't hold, like I know I've said before, like we can't see everything or hold all truths or just know what to do every moment. Like there's so much that we don't, we're blind to and that we're also, we also were wounded. So it's like where you're doing the best that you can for the most part. And, um, once you start to walk the path with God and you're seeking within and your intuition, it's like you're, there's so much karma for a long time, but then it's like, it starts to shift where it's like you move or moving slower and you're already more peaceful and you're more like, there's so much more that's like moment to moment. And I thought that's been coming to me so much lately of like, I've had to let go so much and just like move. We have had to face so much like to a point of like, I, I just was like, I, I just, I, don't know, I can't find the words right now. <laughs> They're not there, but it's like, it, it brings you back to this now moment so much. And you realize like when you're in, when you're in just ego and that, like, it's just incessant. It's like, you have very few moments of your day that before it was like, I had very few moments of the day that were actually present. It was like, I was always pushing and grinding and moving forward and taking on the next thing and not, and it's, it's a much more like aggressive, um, action, like go, go, go. And that's because that's how the mind is the mind. And so, okay, this is the other, the other piece I wanted to speak on is that it's natural. And I think that this is, I'm, I would imagine it's for everybody is that you fight the process in the beginning because your ego is fighting. It's like, it's, like I said before, it's like a little child, but I wrote, I heard, I read something yesterday that was something about like the ego is afraid. It's afraid of, of what it doesn't know. It's afraid of awakening. It's afraid of, uh, more awareness, but it's, it's just a process of it because it's not used to it. So it's like a pro and you're not used to it. And we're, so we still continue to be afraid of the unknown, but that's the shift that starts to happen is that you are being, you give so much over to God and the most high and you trust yourself and your inner guidance and so much more that you're like, and then you just don't see even the devil energy. You don't see it as so it doesn't have this hold over you like it had before. And you don't have this fear of so many things like you had before because you're trusting yourself within and that's where that stability comes and that, that groundedness and, um, and then other things you'll have more trials and like, what's interesting is that I've started to see, like, I've had a very interesting, like I've had an interesting experience and mission essentially here. And that's another part of it is it's like everybody's path. Even when people start to try to like come together and be like, we're all in this together. It's like, everybody has a different path still, regardless, like everyone is on a different path. But if you're choosing the path with God, you know, you're, you're opening yourself up to all these things. You're opening yourself up to the path of the soul and these gifts and these, this intuition and all of these things. And even within that, it's interesting because a lot of people are, I've seen this at least a lot of people who, who consider themselves chosen ones or are on this path is like they have there. A lot of people are tarot readers or a lot of people are prophets or a lot of people are, um, they're speaking and guiding in some kind of way or, or in creating and using, using their heart passion, like dancing or singing. And it's all ways to express and, um, to be a guide in different ways, but there's even similarities along that. And when we kind of let go of like this need to compare, it's so beautiful because it's like, we can then just like 
share who we are and our expression of source and embrace it and inspire each other. And then there's still, you're still going to have to deal with the darkness because that's another thing. It's like the more that you work through your shadows, it's kind of like you, you develop this, this piece and this other stuff within, but then God, but then it's like you have a mission then you have to like help others, you know, to, to pull them up and to, um, bring them out, bring them out of darkness and, um, continue this, I guess, light work, but if you want to call it that. Okay, I'm going to stop there because I did this kid. Um, okay, but one more last note about the ego is that it's like, it just reminds me of a little kid, and I've heard that before. It's like the ego has tantrums, and it's like, but it just it's it's like it's like you're 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 parenting it, and that's so much about like how how it works with the divine is it's like we get this karma because it essentially is punishment of like you didn't do the right thing, you're getting punished now, and it's kind of the same thing with you to your your parenting reparenting with your inner child and also your your ego. It's like allowing it to break down and to, I know just a minute, baby. Okay. And allowing, um, you to come back into the body so that you know that you're safe, you're safe here. And it's safe for your intuition to guide you. Now it's safe for your ego to take the back seat. Um, so it's like, it's literally just the process of how things go here. I don't know that like, of course it's different and the, the unfolding is different for everyone, but it's kind of, it's like, you come here and you forget all these things and you're programmed and, um, and then another big part, which, you know, you just, I don't, I don't even have all the right advice on that, but it's like letting people go and then just having to send them love because it's like, I guess sort of like the chariot where I was for some reason, the ark with Noah, that story has been coming to me lately, but it's like, not everyone's going to be able to be on your ship or on your chariot. And you just start to see that more and more of like, I'm choosing myself and I have to keep, I'm following God. I'm following what's being asked of me. Like I have to let these things, other things go and I can't be there for everybody. And it's like you, we, we pull each, it's either you're pulling each other back down or you're pulling each other up type of thing. Um, all right. <laughs> That's what's come to me.